Good morning, Bueller. I wanted to take a couple of minutes today to talk to you about a subject that's very important to me. Um, we continuously talk to you about character counts, and I wanted to take a character counts moment this morning and talk to you a little bit about the pillar of caring. Uh, it's been brought to my attention um, recently, and I think it's always uh, a little bit in effect of rumors and uh, spreading gossip about different people, whether it be students, uh, staff, uh, family, whatever it may be, I just want to share with you that um, that's a very important aspect that we don't want to spread rumors, we don't want to spread gossip. Um, I think every student would come to me and say if it's about them as an individual they would do not want rumors spread. And I just want to offer to you that uh, unless you know something to be factual, um, please don't spread rumors about other people. Uh, it, it's very hurtful. Um, it can cause lots of consternation in people's lives and I just really address you this morning about um, not spreading rumors about people or gossiping or uh, sharing things that may or may not be true, especially if you don't have the information. And so I just offer that to you today on a variety of levels and just want you to always continuously remember about character counts and the pillar of caring. Thank you. Hi, welcome to VHS News. I'm Morgan. And I'm Jasmine. Today is Monday, December 13th, 2010. For lunch today is ravioli, salad, peas, and pole bar bread. Birthdays today are Sarah Joyce, Andrew Pope, Lindsay Sass, and Mr. Babcock. Weekend birthdays were Scott Cox, Ben Buchanan, Hayden Cook, and Charles Easton. Sign up for room 200 for the French Club breakfast by noon Tuesday. Breakfast is at 745 Wednesday. Tomorrow is last day for Operation Christmas Child Donations. French Council will wrap them. Mr. Atkins is still in need for a second shift worker at the Friday home basketball game. He is looking for several folks that are willing to dress up and serve and host our STEAM inductees and their family. The time would be approximately 6 p.m. until 10 p.m. Any volunteers will be eligible for a monetary suspend. See Mr. Atkins in room 143 for details. December 17th is the 2010 Hall of Fame ceremony. It will be held between the girls and boys game. Mr. Adkins is looking for casually dressed workers to help set up and more suitably dressed workers to serve and host our esteemed guests. Both of these jobs will be paid positions. If you are interested, see Mr. Adkins for details. Second semester class change forms are now available in the counselor's office. In order to have a class change considered, the form must be completed correct, correctly with appropriate signature and returned to the counselor's office by Friday, December 14th. The purpose of the form is not to move class hours around, but to replace an elective class where needed. In order to change a year-long class, you must, have, you must have earned a D or an F in the class for the first semester. Now to begin with your sports. One, two, one, two, three, go. Hi, I'm Alex with your sports. The best ball results from Friday night against McPherson are as follows. Varsity girls lost 50 to 35, varsity boys lost 67 to 40, JV boys lost 58 to 36, JV and freshman girls lost, freshman boys lost 50 to 40. The Crusader wrestling team brought home the third place team trophy Saturday from the Wellington tournament. Wrestlers finishing in the top four were sophomore Kyle Miller first place at 119, senior Colton Rice second place at 125, sophomore Jake Gearing second place at 130, junior Carson Evans second place at 152. Senior Austin Ortiz, second place at 160. Freshman Scott Winson, 
third at 135, junior varsity results. Nick Ringler, first at 285, Henry Hickert, first at 215, Dakota Arpin, fourth at 189, and Brennan Bertolf at first at 125. That's it for me. The now, VHS back to News. Have a great day.